And let us see this question. This question came in 2008 and it is also one of the better questions asked in AEEE. A body is at rest at x equal to 0. At t equal to 0, it starts moving in the positive x direction with a constant acceleration. right? At the same instant, another body passes through x equal to 0 moving in the positive x direction with a constant speed. Let us see what they are talking about. A body is at rest at e x equal to 0. At time t equals to 0, it starts moving in the positive x direction with constant acceleration. That means s equal to ut plus half a t square. This will be the basically the equation because it is moving with constant acceleration. And it was at rest at time t equal to 0. So that means x will be equal to half a t square. I can write it as. Now this I can mark as the first equation. right? Because this is for the particle 1 and x2 will be equal to now the second particle is what another part uh, body passes through x equal to 0 moving in the positive x direction with a constant speed that means x2 will be equal to u into t right because it is moving with constant speed that means without any acceleration so these are the two things uh, the position now let us see what they are asking the position of the first body is given by x1 after time t and that of the second body is given by x2 after the same time interval which of the following graphs correctly describes x1 minus x2 as a function of t so what i have to do is i have to calculate x1 minus x2 so x1 minus x2 will be equal to what minus ut plus half a t square right so we have to basically draw the graph for this equation now it is more of a mathematics question where you have to draw the graph of the equation right so if we see the uh, if we see the equation what we can see over here uh, what we can do is we can calculate dx1 minus dx2 um, dx1 minus x2 by dt so uh, and put it as zero so what will it give it will give the point where slope is zero basically the graph is like this so basically if i differentiate this so it will be a sort of dy by dx because x1 minus x2 is plotted on the y axis and x is plotted on the x-axis so dy by dx gives me the slope if I put this as 0 I'll get that time at which the slope becomes 0 so if I differentiate this so uh, what I'll get I'll get minus u plus a into t will be giving me 0 that means at time equal to u by a the slope will be 0 that means it is 0 it at only one time right it is 0 at only one time if I talk about a there is uh, you know apart from x equal to 0 there is nothing any uh, no other point where it is 0 so that means I can cancel out the option a if I see c uh, if I see the option c yes there is one point over here where the slope is 0 if I talk about point uh, option b there is also one point where slope is 0 if I talk about d slope is 0 at this point and it is discontinuous at this point also so I can you know eliminate this option also now the main uh, you know difference is between C and B right at time t equal to u by a the slope is 0 and what will be the time where x1 minus x2 will be 0 right uh, rather what we can do is uh, at this time at this time we can calculate the value of x1 minus x2 right if this comes out to be positive because at this point if x1 minus x2 is positive that means c option is correct if it comes out to be negative that means p option is correct right so let us put this equation so x1 minus x2 will give you minus u square by a plus half a u square by a square because it was t square so this will give me minus half u square by a where u and a are positive constants now this is giving me a negative value that means option b should be correct so that means option c is incorrect